My last case opened in me a new fear, a real fear, a fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beep? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the locals scared. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy gang of yours. We haven't got time to hang around. It's taking them so long. Something must be wrong. I think I saw him with Officer Armstrong. Just take it easy. We're wide open here. It's okay. I've got you covered. I don't like this. Something's not right. Something's not right? Nothing's right about this. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Try to stay calm. You better hurry, Jack.
It looks like an eye, but the rest of the painting has no real shape. The fire is still burning. This blasphemous image makes me feel uneasy. As I continue to translate the necotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe, a doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the Elder Things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. It's an old stove. It's locked. I'm running low on ammo. That's simple strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. The door has been barricaded with tables and chairs. It won't budge. It won't budge. It's been boarded up. Better keep my distance from the window, or I'll end up with this nut job. They seem to recognize me. I don't get it. Empty ammo boxes and spent shells. Nothing useful. Poison it by the looks of it. I can't open it. He's dead. They're all dead. A diary. This will make interesting reading. Nothing of interest.
Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Wild. Damn. He recognized me. And it sounded like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. He's dead. Looks like a bad case of lead poisoning. A key. This should help downstairs. It's unlocked. What the hell is going on? It seems they've been tracking my movements. Another key. This should fit the door across the hall. I don't understand. I'm in all of these photos. All of them. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? That must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I gotta think. It's unlocked. For nutcases, they seem quite literate. It looks like an eye, but the rest of the painting has no real shape. It appears to be a private study area. It appears to be a private study area. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. fallen and crushed his skull. This sink would be used for scrubbing up. 
Dead bodies, and plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. Never seen equipment like this before. Oh, shit. <laughs> At least he's out of his misery. His heart is stopped. His lungs have stopped ventilating. His stomach stopped moving. The crystal's still warm. His brain stopped moving. His intestines have stopped moving. Feels like it's going to collapse at any moment. Odd. It looks like it's full of mercury. Odd. It looks like it's full of mercury. is that? It's a similar shape to the slot upstairs. Ah! It's too hot to pick up! It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, 
I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. D did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Driver, how far did the stop? It's almost there. I'll drop you at the town square in Pittsburgh. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. You know what those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after her own. to the line. Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked at the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fella.
chit chat to him is going to get me no place fast. A dusty assortment of old books. It won't open. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> Talking to this fellow's getting me nowhere, and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. Stop your snooping. And there's for hotel staff only. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Stop pestering me, stranger. That way is blocked by a police line. Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. The uh, ropes. Elliot ropes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. That fellow was just stringing me along with a lot of nothing about nothing. This statue commemorates the men who fought in the Revolutionary War. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't rightly say it, I know him. Evening, Constable. Certainly I'm busy. No time for doctors, strangers. I'm Detective Jack Walters. I've been hired by the regional manager of the First National. And I'm Constable Burke, and I'm the law around these parts, and I'm still not talking to you. Now get lost. Move along outside on. He isn't gonna spill with anything useful. Don't budge.
It's unlocked. The till's empty. Nothing of interest. It won't budge. The glass has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange. It won't open. It looks like I need some sort of lifting handle to get it open. The drawer is empty. Stock reminders and general notices. Nothing of interest. A typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Nothing of interest. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. The ladders and stairs have collapsed. I'll never get back up. Nope, nothing of interest. I can feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. The walls collapsed. It must have already been badly damaged on one side. The cellar's filled with human remains. These people must have died a long time ago. The window is smashed, and I can see the back alley. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, 
and they're dated 1846. The old printing press appears to have been sabotaged. Nothing of interest here. General notices. They're all dated 1846. Newspapers lay scattered in molding heaps. It won't budge. It's not important. Nothing of interest. Hello, Jack. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackey? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay, maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. The delivery truck for the Innsmouth Courier. Extension here. This noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. The poor woman must have taken her own life. The flooring is badly damaged. Must have been caused by the fire. It 
won't budge. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. It's getting late, outsider. Folks as know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. It won't budge. It won't open. Seems this grandiose structure is the esoteric order of Dagon. It won't budge. It's locked. It's locked. It must lead to the back of a variety store. It won't budge. It won't open. device that pumps highly compressed air. A standard gasoline pump. I'm looking for Brian Please, Burke. stop bothering me, stranger. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. 
I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store. A rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty. But I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is going to crack this case. An old truck. It's likely owned by the Marsh Refinery. It won't open. It won't budge. Of the noble and the brave, who love a life in the tempest strife, in the home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out, and the growling thunder sounds his gong, and the whirlwinds battle out. Ha ha! Do you think that's the valiant shrink? No, no, we were bold and bold. Who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Allen! Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. <laughs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's the rumor in an anchor in lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. <sighs> old Captain Moved where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that that answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet, till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. 
I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Ah, uh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. I, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. A seedy looking bar called the Garden. Unfortunately, it's shut. <laughs> Tonight, boys, we must fight, but the winds which shower us yell shall never scare the mariner in the wing gates. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And is there anyone in Innsmouth who doesn't know my name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like, Vernon? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star.
It won't open. It's unlocked. Coming, snooping around with a wanted. If I see you without Tiger, I'll report you to order. I'll not say nothing. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. Just leave me be, stranger. I have a strange feeling I'm being watched. Do you need any help? Where is everybody? It's very quiet. I reckon you might have scared them off of that ugly face of yours. <laughs> It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. Since old Lady Warren's passed away, the food is rotten, but we'll die soon enough. What are you looking at there, old-timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What you're doing in old Warren's house, young feller? This hole is for the broke and the dying. I'm trying to find Dock Street. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up, and all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attics. How would you like to be living in a town like this, fella? I've been to more welcoming places. I don't think he's been outdoors for years. He isn't gonna know anything. This almshouse is home to the old and the destitute. Her sleep is restless and erratic. The old woman's dead. It won't budge. It won't
won't budge. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. If you don't like it, just turn around and leave! It won't open. Jesus, those people have been ripped apart. That's why they were cordoning off this tunnel. It's blocked. I can't go that way. Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mommy's upstairs in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love Mummy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of Mommy and Daddy. It won't open. It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. An old chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. It won't budge. It won't budge.
An old wardrobe. Nothing of interest. Looks like a diary. Nothing of interest here. Oh, God. No. They've taken the last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was copped by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary, upstairs. Hurry, Jack! What the hell's in the safe, anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. His own flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waite's off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah, I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca.
It's unlocked. Nothing of interest. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break-in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. Nothing of interest here. Yes, that's it. The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words, Book of Dagon. Boxes of dead fish. What a stench. It won't budge. It won't open. getting late. I'd better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole.
damn shame. Maybe. Maybe not. What do you mean, maybe, Charlie? I seen Elliot dragging him off. Caked in blood, he was. Aye. But Birch reckons she were ripped open, Joe. I don't reckon Tom would have the strength for that sort of killing. I ain't got much time for talking, Charlie. I got instructions from the Order to make certain the Outsider doesn't leave tonight. Would that be the strange fella you brought into Innsmouth a couple hours back? Yeah. <laughs> I'm reckoning on him asking for lodging here this evening. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Great. That, that sounds just swell. Hey, uh, you all right there, sir? You're starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. I'm fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts. It makes me queasy. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. Charlie, can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. Perfectly. Excuse me, sir. The Innsmouth law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. It's the key to the back office. Plenty of rooms up there. <laughs> Probably 401. Instructions on the order are to make certain he don't leave the hotel. That's the direct command of Robert Marsh himself. They reckon the outsiders seen too much of Innsmouth's ways. You can tell Robert he can always rely on Charlie to see things done properly. Yeah, you better be certain of that. What you done with old weights? That's a matter for the order to settle. He's in jail for the fence. They're out looking for her now. Something was always wrong with that Tom Waits. It's unlocked. Can't see anything of use. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. The hatchet is encrusted with blood. I'm not touching it. The rug is caked in dried up blood and guts. If you just follow me, sir, I'll show you to your lodgings. I heard there was a killing over the old Waits house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. 
caked head to toe in her blood, they says, and had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. I reckon there'll be a lynching for what he done. You're still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well, and keep down the racket. Us Innsmouth are quiet folk. The room's cold enough without opening the window. Nope, nothing important here. I can't sleep here. It's not my room. The room's cold enough without opening the window. It won't open. It won't open. It won't open. It's locked. Better, not exactly safe, but the best I'm gonna get in this infernal town. city of Nakotas. Rest now, Jack. You are safe. What was in the light, Jack? Where do you want to go? We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand. You will, in time.
break the door down, you damn fool! Quick! I see them head up! Check the door! Won't be older. They've got him. Don't let him get away. Stop. They've got him. He's up there! After him! Don't budge. Outsider! Stop! He's going across the roof! Hold it! He's here! Kill him! It won't open. Get him out! Off the rope. It's gotta be somewhere in there. 
really wants me dead, I'd better watch my step. Don't fudge. Who's there? What's that? Won't budge.
Christ, they're everywhere. I need to keep my head down. Don't budge. William! William! For God's sake! Your friend is dead. Jesus Christ, no! You're a fool, Willie. I told you it wasn't safe in there. Look, fella, I know you're upset, but I really need some help. Ah. You're the outsider they're hunting tonight. You don't have a hope, stranger. The Order's mob will be everywhere you turn. Down the sewers is the only place that them folks balk at venturing. And for good cause at that, mind you. I can cope with foul air. It'll be a change from the stink of dead fish. You're not getting my meaning, stranger. There's rumor of real horrors in the black dankness beneath these streets. Maybe the folk with the taint are devils. But at least they're devils of this earth. You ever hear tell of a Shaggoth, stranger? Just tell me where I can get into the sores. Alright. You've been warned. Just the other side of this here building is a road leading down to the filtration plant. There's an open sewer pit down there. Good luck, stranger. He died recently. The body's still warm. I'm not so sure this was one of my better ideas. He's in the truck! looking metal bar.
No, wait! all this stuff. What have I done? Ah, shit! It's corrosive! She's here. I just let her die. I can hear them calling to me. Ah. If I never come here, she will still be alive. body is covered in this slimy muck. Slimy water. There's no way I'm getting in. make out anything in that blackness. Looks like the main sewer pipe. The grating has been heavily damaged. What the hell is this place? It's like some sort of mass grave.
Did you hear that? It came from more there. Can you see anything? I heard something. I heard something over there. Are you down there, outsider? Can you see anything? Are you down there, outsider? Open. A wanted poster for Brian Burnham. Don't let him get away! You're alive. Thank God. Just barely. The Order has got half this blasted town on my heels. I warned you, Jack. I told you the Order wouldn't stand to- Save it, sweetheart. You found anything more on Brian? He never made it out of town. The Order has him holed up in the old jailhouse until he's needed. Needed? Needed for what? Sacrifice, Jack. To Dagon. They'll take him out to Devil's Reef, and he'll never be seen again. Dagon? Sacrifice? This is crazy talk. Innsmouth's old fishing tales have muddled your mind. But... Mm, I don't want another death on my conscience. Where's this jailhouse? It's out the back of the Merchant's Bank, just past the old water tower. We'd better keep off the streets. The tainted are roaming everywhere. There's a secret crypt under the church that leads out to someplace safe. We can use that. My father built it when he was minister. Okay, get your father and let's go. I can't. I mean, he wouldn't pledge himself to Dagon. He, he called it blasphemy. The Order found him and... and... Jeez. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Did your father ever show you how to get into this crypt? No, but he gave me this. I think it'll help. Now! The church is this way! Follow me! Come out! Letters and books. Nothing unusual. It won't open. Follow me, Jack! They're surrounded! There's no way out. God, help us! We'll have to make a run! It won't open. Oh, no. I, I don't... I don't know what I'm here. We'll be protected inside. Kill him! Look, Jack! Jack, God. it's this way! It's the minister's journal. What am I doing here? Oh, God, I'm alive. What are you waiting for? We must get to the church! You're going the wrong way! Speak him down! Look, Jack! I'll be 
joining me if I don't get moving. Just give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. If you're willing to come out now, we'll not gut the gal's carcass. Get away! Open these doors, outsider! You're trapped! It's the no Minister way. of the Church. He's been hung up and disemboweled as some sort of obscene spectacle. It must be intended as a warning to the Christians of Innsmouth. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out of there. Just give you There's a raised up, section of tiling in the baptismal pool. The defacement of the church must have happened many months ago. Now, we'll not gut the gal's carcass. You can't get away. These doors, outsider! You're trapped. There's no place you can run. I should let the bell finish ringing first. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out of there. Just give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. If you're willing to come out now, we'll not cut the gal's carcass. There are markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, who died in 1837, aged 49. It's the coffin of D. Slocum, 
who died in 1850. It's the coffin of Tom. Nothing but stones. I wonder what happened to the body. In the clippings, the year 1846 has been circled several times. They all appear to be volumes on the history of Innsmouth. It's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. A small stone plaque engraved with a series of numbers. postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. All these articles relate to the deaths of Innsmouth citizens. Yes, yes, that's it. I've cracked it. The safe holds a stone cross. All these books are covered in dust and cobwebs. They haven't been studied for some time. It's the coffin of S, a rotting corpse, standard for most coffins of this period. It's the coffin of S. Lawrence, born 1789 and died in 1826. There's a small stone disc here, hollowed out with the carving of an upside down cross.
better check the bank again, just to be certain. Some of the planks look weak. Better here, watch here. the step. It won't budge. Take him down! He's over here! 
Hello, Jack. Mackie, have you been tailing me? You could say that. Drop me a line next time you're planning on taking the stealthy approach. I'll watch and take notes. Funny. I don't get it, Mackie. What's your angle on all of this? I already told you. I work for the government. I've got friends at the top. Friends who've invested a lot of time and dough in Innsmouth. They don't want to see their investigation set back by some private op turning up the heat with some mindless caper. If you mean the Burnham boy, they're going to kill him, Mackie. You know it and I know it. I can't let that happen. You're not thinking of breaking him out. He's just a punk, Jack. Where's the jailhouse, Mackie? Very well. It's your funeral. The window over there to your left looks over the jail back alley. See you around, Mackie. It won't open. What was that? Probably nothing. Bar. That could come in handy. Back here would be a great hiding spot. Who's there? I can hear you. Shh. I'm a private detective. My name's Jack Walters. I'm looking for Burnham. Look, fella, I'm Burnham. What the hell is it you want? Why did you knock off the First National and the Variety Store? What? I'm the manager of First National. Why the blazes would I rob my own store? They haven't even charged me with anything. Look, just clear off before you get me in trouble. If Garrison spots you, he'll scream this joint down. Garrison? Yeah. Henry Garrison. He's the crazy fella in the next cell. Whenever he throws a fit, one of Martin's mom are all over this alley like a rat. Especially tonight. They seem incredibly twitchy. Much more than usual. <laughs> what is it you said about this Henry Garrison? Just that he's Henry. off his nut. Henry. If he lays eyes on you, he'll like my father. Me You'd think the ugly lugs in the really front office him. would have learned to ignore it. No, come him. and check outside no. every time. I, Dagon, I, 
哎呀，不疼，不。I see your eyes in the window. Hiding in the blackness. <laughs> I feel the call inside me. Don't move, trust, outsider. There appears to be somebody asleep on the bed. Some of the bars have been damaged, but still sturdy. They were in the way. He's over there. What is it? We lost the freedom. A police whistle. Hmm. Could prove useful. A pistol and a shotgun. Find you, Jack. And the order shows no mercy. It's locked. Brian, where do they keep the keys? Why should I trust you? What? In case you hadn't noticed it, fella, you're in a bit of a jam here. It could be a trap. Are you crazy? Stop bothering me! Ruth Billingham gave me this. What? This is the photograph I gave her before. before. Oh, damn. I've been so foolish. I am sorry. If Ruth trusts you, Jack, then so do I. Where are the keys to the cells? They'll be upstairs with Andrew Martin, the chief constable. He's usually asleep or in the bath around this time. His skin's badly diseased from the Innsmouth taint. Keeping it wet seems to help us suffer. Dios. I won't take them. I what do you mean? Take the what if it's locked? It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Messing with the alarm would be too risky. According to this, there have been many arrests lately, but no charges listed. This is the rap sheet for Henry Garrison. No charges been listed. is grimy, and there are traces of some sort of discolored membrane. The keys to the cells. Now it can free Brian. 
The fire is barely enough to keep out the freezing cold winds. The bath is encrusted with filth, and there appears to be shreds of skin. I'm not touching it. It won't budge. It's unlocked. It's Thomas Waits. Ramona's death must have driven him to cutting his own throat. He's crazy. I, will not I don't do think it would be the sharpest plan to let him out. Never. It's unlocked. This cell looks like it suffered some kind of fire. An old ship's log marked with the name Obed Marsh. It's unlocked. The garage on the main street holds an old automobile. <laughs> it should be able to get us clear of town. I, uh, should be able to. Gone. If we can I, just uh, make it through the patrols. I, uh, Lead the way, Jack. now, Jack. The doors are locked. You won't be able to get in that way. Come on, Jack. We need to get off the streets. No cover, Jack. We'll get caught. What's that? 
looks like something or someone was killed here recently. Come on, Jack. We need to get off the streets. What am I doing here? What was that? Nice work, Jack. Something wrong down here. Some of oh, the stench here is sickening, and it smacks of more than just soup. The rotting corpse of a rat. I suppose it might come in useful. Not linger here, Jack. Bravo, Jack. Congratulations on your new promotion to Innsmouth's enemy number one. Shut your trap, Maggie. You're not a factory inspector. Who do you work for? Okay, detective. I'll come clean. I'm an undercover agent for the United States Treasury Department. We've been working closely with the FBI on a secret investigation of Innsmouth. I'm the inside... Really? What have you been able to find out? The Innsmouth look, Jack. It's at the heart of the problems in this town. More than half the population must be infected by it. The spreading of that contagion, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is the key. I just... This is all very interesting, fellas, but we gotta get out of Innsmouth with Rue. She's waiting for us at some old fishing cannery, just past the station to Rowley. Listen, Jack. There are some agents watching the road not far past that spot. If you can make it there, you'll be safely picked. I need you to do something for me. You can do it while I get this thing started. When they arrested me, they took a brooch I was carrying. It belonged to Ruth. It carries her picture inside. I won't leave it behind. Are you crazy? We don't have time for this. They'll be holding it in the jail office safe. I don't know the combination. I overheard Ropes talking to one of the other guards. He said something about an important date. And someone called Captain Obed Marsh. If you want to get in through the back door, just knock, and I'll open it for you. I don't know the combination to the safe. I reckon on it being a date. Something to do with that Captain Obed Marsh. won't open. The government must have known about Innsmouth for a long time. Why the sudden entry? A few years back, some new hotshot was made head of the FBI. His name's... He's on a personal mission to wipe crime from this country. He's a good agent. Just don't tell him any jokes.
disappeared! are dead. There are no rats in the walls. Jesus, no! Stop it, you crazy bastard! It's unlocked. The wretched creature had no other possessions. <gasps> The lunatic dropped a piece of paper. budge. This cabinet looks light enough to push. You got anything to report? Not much. I ain't seen hide or hair of him. This must be Ruth's brooch. Nothing else in the safe seems of value. Flames is overpowering. Stop. 
Stop! Still not done with the car yet, Jack. Here it is. Thanks, Jack. Ruth would have been heartbroken if I'd lost it. I'll be done in just a second. Hold on. I'm finished. Get in the back. I know the way. Dad! I lost him. It won't open. Jack, I think I saw some ammo in the back of the truck. We'll need it.
Just find Ruth. I'll meet you at the other side. Won't open.
It's locked. Jack, I'm up here! Ruth, what the hell are you doing up there? I must have been followed. They stormed inside just moments ago. There was gunfire outside. I only just managed to climb up here and threw the ladder down to escape. I'm trapped up here, Jack. The door's padlocked and this ledge isn't going to hold for much longer. I don't want to die, Jack. Help me! Keep back! I'll figure something out. I can hear something. Look everywhere! Spread out! He's around here somewhere! Oh, find him! Outsider, show yourself! I know I'm gonna show Look everywhere! Outsider. It's unlocked. I can feel it moving. 
would just swell. I hate heights. It's a pet school hat. There's not much time. Come on, sweetheart. Brian's meeting us out back. I'll never be able to make it across the rafters. You'll have to get that door open. The padlock's old and rusted. Please, help me! Let's get the hell out of here. Lead the way. The stairway to the lower floor has collapsed. I'll need to find another way down. Come on, Ruth. Hurry the hell up! Did I ask for your damn opinion? Remember who funds this damn nuthouse. Very well. He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy that... I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. And I don't care for your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover, from the Bureau. And considering your position, Mr. Walters, you best mind your ma- Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Just stopping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. I needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Criminals and fools. And you don't seem like a f Appearances can be deceptive. I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind. Wake him up. J. 
Just charge me with something, cause I don't know nothing. This is not gonna stop, Mr. Walters, so you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. A missing person case, and I needed the doll. I was only checked in for one night, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters! Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can, and breeze out of town in a Only on the good days. But not normally, no. I've had a shitty night, Hoover, so I'd really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters. And half the damn towns... Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before. But they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more... Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing. And he was close to something. Something we could... Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target, the Marsh... <clears throat> I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walter. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, and we can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. Fuck you. Good night, Mr. Oh. Walters. Pleasant dream. allowing for your stint in the nuthouse. I've packed you with armaments. I demand your complete cooperation. Our reconnaissance reports have confirmed Sebastian Marsh, the manager of the refinery, will be out of town on business. He's left his son Jacob in charge of operations. We won't get a better chance to launch this raid. Our mission is to capture Jacob Marsh. He may be our only chance to get under the skin of the Marsh family. We must secure him alive. Sebastian away, we expect the refinery to be heavily guarded. I'll fill you in with more details when we have breached the main doors. Jack, you better stay in the car while my agents secure the entrance. Get in your positions, agents! Keep sight of the loading bay! On the roof! <laughs> <laughs> 
sustain your fire! Take him down! Hold your fire! Cooper, get those damn doors open! There's nothing to target. It's a floor-mounted automatic rifle. Well done, Jack. Wait by me while my men secure the area. Check reception. It's locked, sir. Break it down, then secure the area. I want Marsh alive. Everything else is a viable target. Fall out. Understood, sir. Okay, Hoover. What's the plan? I want to know where the hell they're getting all this gold. Come on, let's take a look around. What the hell? 
What happened down there, Agent? Did you find Marsh? What are you staring at, Jack? He was just a field agent. He knew the risks. The power's been cut from the elevator. It must have been shut down from the mains. You try the next floor down. See if you can find the generator. I'll secure this floor. The stairs, Jack! Get moving! Ugh, his body is covered in the same slimy muck I found in the Innsmouth sewers. There's no power to the elevator. The elevator carriage must be blocking it. It won't open. Won't budge. Nothing of interest. The door's bolted shut.
it won't budge. Generator didn't power up. Something must be wrong. It won't open. This control panel must activate the bucket track. <sighs> the panel is shut tight. These old workbenches don't look like they've been used for a long time. It's a drive belt for heavy machinery. It doesn't look as if this machinery has been used in some time. Only the small flywheel seems to be running. It would be safer to turn off the track generator before trying any maintenance.
let him get away! God, what the hell now? I can't open the cage door. This old machine is for monitoring pressure levels. The corridor is choked up with boiling hot steam. It won't open. It's a valve for releasing pressure. Turning that pressure release valve seems to have rerouted the steam. <laughs> the dead body of a federal agent. It won't open. Don't move! 
locked. It's locked. It won't budge. It's locked. Who's there? Certain, but that looks like the remains of Agent Nelson. It won't open. Don't budge. It won't open.
It doesn't look as if this machinery has been used in some time. Stop right there, Marsh. Goodbye, Mr. Walters. It controls the conveyor belt that transports ore down to the grinder. I don't need to use it.
it's locked. This should get the elevator running again. This must be the Marsh family office. Oh, it's a letter from Sebastian Marsh. bolted shut. The door is bolted shut. Machinery is secured behind a metal fence. It won't budge. In the name of the Order, protect the refinery! Don't let them through! Ah! 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 
The lockers are empty. It won't open. Something for Christ's sake! Shut it, Hoover! As for you, Mr. Walters, we've just about had enough of your meddling in innocent affairs. It was my pleasure to inconvenience you, Marsh. After you've watched your copper friend here die, I'm coming after you! Shoot him! Shoot the screwy bastard! Hurry up, Jack! For Christ's sake, just shoot him! Quickly, Jack! No time like the present! Not now. I've got to save up, Hoover. Jack! Hurry the hell up, Jack! We're on a time limit here! Good. That was too close. You have my full gratitude, Walters. You make a first-rate agent. Too bad you got that stinking attitude. A lousy night of torture can really grate on a man's mood. If your aim was as sharp as your wit, then Marsh wouldn't have gotten away. Your orders were to take him alive, not blow his brains out. That was before the crazy psychopath tried to kill me. Besides, he left his briefcase by the controls. There's probably enough evidence in there to sanction a full-scale ra- so I couldn't care less if you bring him back in small boxes. Just get the vest. I've already done that. Hoover's rescue. Damn it. Marsh must have locked it behind him. Nothing of interest.
it's locked. a new fuse. It's a housing unit for the main fuse. It's blown. This looks like a reasonable hiding pot. It won't open.
This must activate the vat pump. I don't see that improving its mood. Nothing of interest here. important here. Ah, a spare... Nope, nothing of interest. Budge. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? 
locked. Mr. Walters, I see you made it at last. Seems Marsh managed to give you the slip. Fortunately, we had him picked up as he tried to flee. The Order of Dagon will make you pay for this over. I am Cthulhu. I am Dagon. Get this ugly bastard out of my face, Agent Hopper. Yes, sir. Come on, Marsh. Move it. Hoover, you got to evacuate the building. There's something down there. All in good time. We found a key in Marsh's possession. A key he was most reluctant to give up. It must have been for the elevator panel, giving access to an additional floor at the very foundation of this refinery. All my agents are busy planting explosives to flatten this place to the ground. I want you to find a way down there and check it out. Not a chance. I already told you, there's something down there. I barely got out alive. I made it clear back at the asylum, Mr. Walters. I don't make requests. Okay but I'll be needing another gun. How am I supposed to access the lowest floor with the elevator out of operation? You're a detective, Mr. Walters. I'm sure you'll figure something out. is already open. The fuses are primed! You've got 20 minutes before this place blows! Move! The gold is an odd whitish color.
It's a secret gold vault. This must be where the marshes hoard their wealth. Strange. The gold is an odd whitish color. The door mechanism is too heavily damaged. This pressure valve controls the flow of gas. Clock's ticking. I really don't have time to steal gold. The door's bolted shut. The body's cold. He must have been dead for some time. He won't need this anymore.
valve for controlling the flow of gas. I can't turn the bolt with my bare hands. Pick it up. The gem is firmly locked to the pedestal. Interesting. Ah, the clock. 
claw can't be pried open with my bare hands. Staring at the statues making my head pound. Last, we found you. It's nice of you fellas to show up. What the hell is this place? It's some sort of shrine. Probably used by the marshes for private worship. And the oversized gargoyle? That's no gargoyle, Agent. That's Cthulhu. Fellas, this chamber's about to be buried under four floors of brick and metal. Okay, Walters, let's get out of here before this place blows. your men been able to determine the location of this old smuggling route? Not yet. Our intelligence estimates the most likely site would be further downstream. The Manuxit is frozen over, so we should be just fine on foot. Let's get moving. Move out, Marines! Secure the area!
They're all dead, aren't they? They were trapped. There was nothing anyone could have done. Damn it! I tried to tell them, but the corporal wouldn't listen. They just wanted to slaughter those... things. What's your name, soldier? Private Parker. Private Joe Parker. Well, Parker, it looks like you found the old smuggling entrance. The door's frozen over. I already tried to open it, but it's stuck fast. We'll have to melt the ice. You operate the flamethrower. I'll cover the door. Hold it! such an abomination. Looks like I'm on my own again. A hefty chunk of dynamite. The lock's badly rust. That won't work. The lock's badly rust. Jack? Is that you? Mackie. Where do they keep the keys to the cells? I don't know for sure. Probably somewhere up in the main hall. What the blazes is going on? A few hours ago, the government sanctioned a full-scale operation into Innsmouth. It seems you were right about the contagion. I knew it. Why the delayed assault on the order? We have to arrest Robert Marsh now. They can't breach the doors. Anyone who gets close is driven mad. The guards were discussing some mural that Robert Marsh had etched onto the main doors. They said it was powered by a sacred ceremony to the old ones. Whatever the hell that... We have to stop that ceremony. Sit tight, Mackie. I'll be right... Hurry up, Jack. You gotta get me out of here. It's a large bronze key. It's 
fuse will only last a couple of seconds. I better find cover and... It's unlocked. I better watch my step. This place could be crawling with guards. The door's bolted shut. Few assorted documents and letters lie on the desk, but nothing of any There's nothing important on the desk. A few assorted documents and letters lie on the desk, but nothing of any significant. The fire is barely enough to counter the freezing temperature. Books and ancient manuscripts, most of them in foreign or strange language. is sealed by some mystical force. Close to the doors is making my head pass. stairway has been blocked with furniture. The door is bolted shut. A few assorted documents and letters lie on the desk. It's an old rusty key.
feel a draft of air from behind this book. It's unlocked. It won't open. It's a hidden passage. Budge. I don't like this one bit. They're just old storage shells. understand the purpose of this archway. I won't be able to open the door with this barrier in the Some sort of winch mechanism. It must be for reasons. What? It won't budge. The door is bolted shut.
It looks like the diary of Robert the Mark. There's nothing growing in any of these beds. The stained glass window is decorated with an image of Dagon. The stained glass window is decorated with an image of Hydra. Some smokes and a desk lamp, not much of any interest. The large mural is engraved with text from some ancient... The fireplace is empty. Dagon is missing a few of the symbols. It's a prayer of some sort, but I can't... That's it. The safe holds a pistol, a crumpled scroll of paper, and a heavily bound manuscript embossed with a...
doorway is sealed by some mystical force. to Dagon reads, Bahuin and Kugnath, Fanu Naimna, Vunag Lazai, Vunag Lazana, Kulf, I a Raikazengaro, I a Dagon. Zengaro, I am. Uh... details of a blasphemous ceremony. It's a small stone plaque engraved with text from some ancient language. According to the text, only a prayer to Dagon can break the stone. Get me out of here. Well done, Jack. Did you find this? Not exactly. I think it's being held in some underground chamber. A great stone disc. I'm gonna need your help to get in. I'll need a gun. No problem. It didn't take much detective work to figure out who this. First rate work, Jack.
That won't work. The lock's badly rusted. Okay, Mackie, this is it. You raise the lid and I'll cr- Good luck, Jack. Ceremony. I'd better get after him. The doors are tightly sealed. It's a statue of Cthulhu. It's a statue of Hydra. It's a statue of Dagon. I can feel something. I know I'm gonna die. I don't. I don't know why I'm here. Something's happening. 
The mural is engraved with text from some ancient language. It reads, to leave the temple, bow to the deity of the order. The mural is broken, but I can still make out some of the symbols. This plinth would have held the tablets of Dagon. Marsh must have taken them with him. I can hear running water. These must be old smuggling tunnels leading out to the harbor. Jack, our friends in the FBI have been putting the screws on some of the locals. They're a crazy bunch, but all evidence points to a stronghold somewhere below Devil's Reef. Just 20 minutes ago, we lost contact with the sub that was patrolling those waters. Thank you, Officer Winter. Their last communication was just some gobbled message about an underwater city. We've got to make our way to the reef and find this stronghold. The old smuggling tunnels that lead below the seabed will be our best option. Look, I appreciate you pulling me aboard, but what you're talking about sounds like suicide. Nonsense. Lieutenant, let's plan the landing in my office. It's a good job we spotted you. The waters around these parts are no place for swimming. Looks like Devil's Reef is about a half a mile from Innsmouth Harbor. How's it looking up there? Doors bolted shut. Nothing of interest here. There's not much you can do up here, Jack. See if you can give the guard a hand on deck. I don't think I should use that right now. Okay! I'm gonna take a break. Keep your eye out. locked.
The doors bolted shut. It's locked. It's locked. You got any smokes, Jack? Afraid not. Water ruined them. Ah, oh, shit. How you holding up, Henson? I've been to a lot of places, and I've seen a lot of screwy shit. But there ain't nothing that's ever been standing once this baby... What the hell was that? Johnson! Wait! Stay away from the side! Get the rifle, Jack! We're under attack! Jack, help me guard the entrance. We've got to stop this. for the Tommy gun. I need to get this to He's still warm. He hasn't been dead long. have been torn open. An emergency medical kit. I need to get this to Henson quickly. Over there. Kill it. It's locked. Thanks, Jack. 
We've got to hold them off as long as we can! They go! Come back, you fish-faced bastards! <sighs> that was a close call. Well done, Hanson. Most of the crew are dead, Jack. Why the retreat? I don't get it either. There was no natural incident. It looks like there's some sort of witchcraft happening on the reef. Jack, try using the cannon scope to get a better look. Now tell Thank me heaven, slowly, alive, sir. what's the situation? There's hardly any of the crew left, and, and it looks like some of those, those things managed to get below deck. Have you seen Captain Hurst? He's gone delirious, sir. Locked himself in his quarters. He won't answer the door to no one. With respect, sir, he's off his nut. Ugh. We need him to open the armory. Get inside! Run! Shut the door! Damn! I'm almost out of bullets. Gotta get below deck. Head for the armor. The mess hall's locked, sir! We'll have to hit the stern! Ow. Jack, you keep back and look after Officer Winter. I'll make sure the infirmary's clear. This Move way! It. Shut the door behind you! Hurry up, we're gonna make it. It's locked. I've got the key. Run!
bolt the door! We need to keep moving! The door's bolted shut. That door won't hold forever. We gotta keep moving. The armory's not far. It's just through the main engine room. Wait! I'm sorry, sir. Th I th thought you were one of those things. No one got... He won't last much longer. the valley of the shadow of Captain death. Captain Hurst! I will it's fear Officer no Winter. evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, it's all right they now, comfort Captain. me. Everything's thou preparest the table before me in the presence the of mine enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness Captain and Hurst. mercy Open shall the follow door. me all the days of my life. Captain Hurst! And I will it's dwell in the house of the Lord forever. <sighs> Amen. We need that armory key. We've got to find another way in. Oh, oh. You go. I'll stay and look after him. It's locked and the key's in the captain's room. The door's bolted shut. It's a personal diary of one of the crew. locked.
it's locked. Interest here. It's unlocked. Sticks of dynamite, always useful. break it open. of the ship. Oh shit! How the hell did you get in here? A small vent, a few sticks of dynamite, and a minor explosion. You idiot! Sealing the exits is the only way we've kept those damn things out! He won't last much longer. What the hell? It switched to auxiliary power. Oh, and there must be an engine fault. Just great. It's sitting real pretty now. You'd better go and sort it out. Lay off. Have you been hitting the pipe? You're the engineer, you sort it out. I know nothing from nothing about ship engines. No way in hell! Those bloody things are everywhere! I already tried to get the welding kit from the cargo hold. We got jumped! Jesus, it was so fast! Only me and Paul got out alive! We had to lock Barry down there with it. 
Take these keys. With the welding kit, at least we could seal these doors, you know, give ourselves a bit more time. He's given me the keys to the cargo hold, and he's not about to give me any more help. It's unlocked. I think I found the problem. That'll need repairing before the ship's going anywhere. From the look of the markings, the engine must have been sabotaged. Crack's been sealed. Open the damn door! Not till you get this ship moving again! I don't think I should use that right now.
Thank goodness you're back. Give me that! We've got to seal the doors! There have been noises at the other entrance. They're trying to break it. Damn it! Do something! on land, 
We would track them by the strange footprints they left in their wake, consisting of five circular toe marks. They were blind, yet had exceptional sensitivity to both motion and sound. In battle, these creatures could harness the power of the winds with terrifying precision. It wasn't until the great energy weapon was developed that we had the means to fight their evil. Then we were able to drive them down deep into the catacombs beneath their basalt towers, sealing all routes with impenetrable trap doors. better watch my st What the hell? here are fierce, and there isn't much shelter ahead. I need to be careful.
an old pulley. The rock surface the mural is set on seems to be slightly worn. It depicts the fishmen breeding with humans. This would have happened to those in Innsmouth that took the third. There is a disc missing from the engraving. The mural shows humans worshipping the fishmen and Dagon. This lever is the only object in the hoard of treasures not constructed from gold. This whitish gold reminds me of the hidden vault in the marsh refinery. Poor soul. He was probably a fisherman from the port. single rope remains of the collapsed brick. appears to be a map. You need to press a button to activate. The design of the carving reminds me of... I think I've activated some kind of time mechanism. statue of Dagon. Without the missile I lodged in it. It's a statue of Hydra.
there's heavy gusts of air coming from the hole. down that barrier. of survival if they don't know I'm here.
It's written in some kind of ancient language. According to the text, the gateway can only be activated by those bearing a sacred charm and It looks like some sort of doorway into the wrong. have an invitation to our Just check the guest list. I'm under the section for fellas that ain't ugly. F Throw our jester friend here in with the lab rats. I'll deal with him on a more intimate. Increase the security levels. Check the area. Make sure we... <clears throat> Just an old chisel. It won't open. Nothing of interest. They must have released whoever was in here. Doors bolted shut.
It's locked. It's locked.
Please don't for the advertising. The Cape of the Lord are shot and killed. The outsiders have not been able to rush through the barrier. But their song is bolded. There are many gliding in trail. Excellent. Dismissed. What the hell do you think you're doing, Robert? We're in the middle of an invasion, and you've got our order singing hymns! You're a fool, Sebastian. I command the order of day god, not you. The research must be protected at all costs! I've shut the lab down, Sebastian. What? This is madness! Can't you see how far this has come? Your trivial experiments are of no concern to me. All energies must be directed at completing the translation of the tablets. The work of my great-grandfather must be finished. Take your worthless body back to shore. You are of no further use to the Order. That's not going to happen, Robert!
It's unlocked. I've never seen plant life like this before. They appear to be trying to cultivate new breeds of plant Curse! Uh, I'm cursed with this vile plague! Ah, oh, shit. Please, stranger! <coughs> I beg you, put me out of this misery! I need your help. I have to get into the temple. Only those loyal to the Order have access through the main... But there's an old passage. A passage that runs deep beneath... Though I warn you now, outsider, tread caution. I've heard talk of ancient dwellers play in those dark depths <coughs> any evil from the this just keeps getting better so how do I get down the explore the abandoned areas that is all I can tell you now please kill me and my bed Most of these experiments seem to have been carried out on human.
The doors bolted shut. The doors bolted shut. There's no way I'm trying that again. It looks like a feeding hatch. Doors bolted shut. I don't think I should use that right now. I don't think he'll be bothering me again. This hammer could come in useful.
That should do the trick. This looks familiar. I've seen machinery like this somewhere before. I've seen a room similar to this somewhere before. It's too hot to touch. It's being used as a power source for the machine.
furnishings here seem temporary. Nope, nothing of interest. Nothing of interest here. I think these quarters are for visitors rather than inhabitants.
with some kind of ancient language. I can now read some of the last passages. I'll write them down.
Decipher it. According to the text, the doors can only be opened with an ancient chant spoken by someone in possession of a sacred charm. The Huin and Kugna, Fanu Naemna, Bagliz Kafungin, Kathavahel, Kulth Kathulu Kafungni, Ia Raigazengaro, Ia Hydra.
Kof Kafuva Kafungni, I a Raigazengaro, I a Hydra. Check his pulse. Jack, can you hear me? Jack! Mr. Walters, can you hear me? Mr. Walters?
He's convulsing. We're losing him. 